Hello everybody, it's Mr. Scary Muffin here, and yes indeed, it is the final of the Elite matches. Uh, this one is against Lieutenant Surge, and the guy actually cosplay, I think in terms of cosplay, probably on par with the Drasna cosplayer. He got he got the shirt, he got the camouflage, he got the hair, uh, he's got the eyeliner as well, which is really interesting. Uh, anyways, uh, his type was of course electric, and he had to run the Raichu here. I did do some swaps, you notice I took out the Gardevoir. Gardevoir probably wouldn't be able to do too much against this team, even with the Choice Scarf. So I brought in my Mamoswine instead I also swapped out bird um, because town flame I didn't think was gonna do that much with brave bird but I still wanted to keep a bird on my team so I brought in my star raptor so that I could intimidate and also final gambit something as well and I brought in finally um, the Ludicolo, which I mean I didn't know what team he was gonna be running but actually ended up being good matchup against his lantern and his polywhirl as well which I'm assuming are on his team to counter Garchomps or similar uh, ground types. Let's give him an edge. I, and even though Poliwhirl is not really an electric type, I believe uh, it's a it's canonically true to the Lieutenant Surge thing. All his Pokemon are named after kind of like electronic devices, so this is an AD, which is like a Defib. Uh, I go for the Fake Out. Static surprises me. Um, he's going to Thunderbolt. It's not going to do as much damage because I am, of course... Uh, assault vested here. It's gonna go for double thunderbolt. It's gonna take me quite down, but I am gonna get the skull here. No paralysis hacks right now. Para hacks. He gets out the Ampharo, uh and that's actually gonna be a problem here because he's gonna evolve, and if he gets off uh, some kind of setup move here, I might be screwed. And instead he goes for the Confuse Ray, which is actually really interesting. Um, but I'm paralyzed anyways, so Parafusion in the, in the mist, and he is going to get set up here with some Cotton Dances. I'm going to try to Giga Drain, see how much I do. Not very much. I do heal up a little bit. I'm like, yeah, this is probably not going to work out that well. But I don't want to switch out um, my Ludicolo here. I just want him to go down really quickly. So finally he puts me out of misery, stops setting up his Cotton Guard, and goes ahead for the Dragon Pulse. So now I bring in the Hydreigon, which I'm pretty confident will outspeed him. I'm going to throw the Draco Meteor. All those Dakotan Guards made no difference to the special attack. Uh, choice Specs, Draco's going to hurt all the time. So took her of his Mega here. And he's going to bring out the uh, Polyrath actually here. And I know he's probably going to throw some kind of Ice Beam thing. Um, so I'm going to switch out the Star Raptor and get Intimidated off. I don't really care for him to survive. Ice Beam comes out. Uh, it's actually nice that he did survive, so I'm just going to go for the Brave Burn and try to get as much damage off. I do get the KO because he is fighting type as well, but I think Star Raptor is also going to go down here. Oh my god, I survived by 1 HP! I totally forget about this. <laughs> I am, of course, locked onto Brave Bird at this point, so I'm just going to use and see how much damage I do. Not very much, as I expected. As I suspected, uh, Brave Bird not very useful in the, against this gym leader in particular. Gonna go for the ruse, very smart of him. I'm gonna get the char to come out here. Um, and I'm gonna Mega Evolve and go for the Overheat as I usually do in this instance, uh, knowing that I'll probably survive the Thunderbolt and will be able to do a ridiculous amount of damage with my Overheat under the sun. Things are looking hot. Things are steaming up here. Been out in the sun too long. Sir Lamps a lot. Gonna get the solar beam going on here, and once again, I haven't taken a hit yet, so I know I'm gonna be able to survive at least one. Oh, he's gonna go for the Confuse Ray. I'm like, eh, Confuse Hacks, whatever. Let's go. Oh, actually, no. Come back. <laughs> go for the Mammoth Swine, expecting some sort of uh, lightning attack because, of course, he is under the sun. He goes for the Stockpile instead, though. Um... Surpri kind of a little surprising. I'm just going to go for the Earthquake and knock him out. Oh, don't quite get the knockout. Stockpile actually makes a difference. Confusion makes a difference. Uh, but I managed to get through the Confusion. He's not going to be able to do that much. Under the Sun, Mamoswine is going to be immune to his... Uh, not immune, but at least takes less damage from his water attacks. And I'm going to be totally immune to his electric attack regardless. Magnezone comes out, and I'm afraid of Steel-type attack here. So I'm going to switch back out. I don't even know what he's running. 
Uh, but the Charizard should be able to deal with the Steel type pretty easily. I don't think he was going to hit me with Electric type uh, against the Mammoth Swine. And actually, he just used Magnetic Rise to get away from the ground type attacks, but the Overheat's going to deal with him regardless. And uh, Charizard is still full HP, so I was going to be able to survive pretty much anything he throws at me. And uh, luckily me, I, I get this win. The Elite numbers actually were fairly, I'm, I'm not going to say they were super easy, uh, but they were more true to their typing, which allowed me to build or throw together some Pokemon uh, that would be able to counter them a little bit better. I think Lieutenant Surge is probably the one I hard counter the most. As you can see, this team is quite different than the one I usually run against uh, my little my balance team um, that I usually run against everybody else. Anyways, guys, next up is going to be the champ, and uh, we'll tell a little bit of story about uh, the champ, I guess, when I get to him. So stay tuned. I will see you guys next time. Until then, take care. Have a good life.